Okay, the next function that I want to look at is collocates. This is one of my favorite functions in COCA. So collocate or collocation is when two words co-occur or occur together frequently or have a really strong association with each other. So to illustrate this, let's look at our word run again. So we'll put run in the word or phrase field. And then the collocates that we want to look for with run will make that a wild card or an asterisk so we can see all the different words that collocate or co-occur with run in our corpus. So here, down here with this bar, we can specify how many words away from run we want to allow this wild card to occur. So let's say we want to capture all words that happen around three words after run and two words before. Then we can click on find collocates and then we'll see what we get. Okay, so here we have some really strange results. I don't really know what these mean. And I'm actually glad this happened because a lot of times you'll get strange results and you'll need to know how to deal with that. So what we can see over here is this MI we have really high MIs, well 10 is a really high MI. We kind of want to stick with MIs around 2, 3, or 4. So let's go back to search and change some of the settings. So if you have something like this where you get just a few words that have a really high MI or you get lots of words like prepositions and articles like the and a uh and at and they have a really low MI, then you want to change some things. The way to do that is to go down here to sort slash limit and you can click on this. Now we'll see that mutual information is set at 10. That's too high. If you look over here on the side, you can see that it should automatically be set to three, but that doesn't always happen. So sometimes you have to go in here manually and change it. Mutual information is a measure of association between words. So the higher the mutual information score, the stronger that association. But when you get really high scores, then you're just going to get really low frequency words that pretty much only occur with your target word. So I would suggest a mutual information score of two or three, like COCA suggests. So we change this now, and we'll click on Find Collocates again and see if our results look a little different. Good. These look much nicer. So we have things like long, home, away, short all these words that collocate or co-occur with run. And we'll see here that our MI scores are much more reasonable. Okay, so let's try long. Let's click on this and see what kind of context we get with run. Okay, so here we have the long run, in the long run, the long run, in the long run, in the long run. Oh, look, at we have lots of occurrences of this phrase, in the long run. Well, that's good. So now we can see that long co-occurs a lot with run, and we can see some typical phrases like in the long run. So this is a really interesting thing, and we can use collocate to find a phrase like in the long run, and then we could actually take it back to list and then just search the phrase in the long run that we just found through the collocates function and see what we find in the list. So we have in the long run occurs 3,580 times. Okay, interesting. So it's a frequent phrase. Let me see how it's used in its wider context. Now we have all the instances of in the long run. So for example, you could have your students find frequent collocates of run, find phrases that those collocates are associated with, and then look them up in list to see the wider context. 